Hello guys and welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be inserting a node at a specific position in a linked list. We're given a linked list and then we're given data and then we're given the position we need to insert our new node within that linked list. The first thing we need to do is check to see if the head is null and if the head is null, then the current node is going to be the new head. So let's go ahead and just take care of that. So I'm going to say, um, Let's create a new node first, and let's call this one node. It's going to equal to new single link list node, and then we're going to go ahead and pass in data. Let's say that uh, if the head is equal equal to no, then we're going to make the head equal our node, and then we can return the head. Right. So what if um, our head is not null? Then we need to go ahead and navigate to the position where we need to insert our new node. So let's go ahead and look at an example for that. The first thing we need to do is we have our head here, right? And then we have it pointing to other nodes. All right, and then we have our new node that we want to add. So let's say that we wanted to add our new node here at this position. So we will navigate, we go boom, we navigate, and we're gonna stop here. The first thing we need to do is take our, the next here, we're gonna take the, we're gonna take the next reference here, and we're gonna go ahead and point it to this node here. And how do we get the data? We know that this node here that we're currently pointing at is going to have the next for this node here, right? Because this is gonna be holding the reference for this node. So we can take this and point it here. And then what we can do is take the next here and point it here, all right? So now all you can see that we've just done is change the references of what the nodes are actually pointing to. And this is how we normally um, insert a node or delete a node by just taking the reference, let's say for example we wanted to delete this node here, we would just take the reference of, we would just point to next.next, .next. so we're going to skip this one right here, and then point to this one. Anyway, so with this set, let's go ahead and implement that. So what we're going to do is um, make a current node, and this is going to equal to our head, because we need to return our head back, and then we're going to create a loop, let's say for our uh, int index is equal to one and index is less than position. So in this case, they're choosing positions like they would treat positions in an array, meaning that it starts with zero. So normally what we have to do is just minus one from the position. But if we started at one, then we're still at the current position that we need to be in. And then we're gonna do plus plus um, index. Then we need to go ahead and loop to the current position that we need to be. So we're gonna say that current is gonna equal current dot next. So now what we're going to do is take our node dot next and we're gonna assign it to um, current dot next. Then we're gonna take our current dot next and assign that to the node. And then we can go ahead here and return the head. And this is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and submit. And let's run all the other cases. All right guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.